boys and girls. It's Mrs. Pakora here, and this is my little puppy, Winston. Well, he went away. Guess he didn't want to listen to the story anymore. But today's story is Mercy Watson Goes for a Ride. I hope you like it. I think you liked the first one. So let's see what happens when Mercy Watson goes for a ride. I don't know about you, but I don't know if pigs should even be in convertible cars or not. So let's see what happens. Here we go. Mercy Watson Goes for a Ride by Kate D. Camillo. And you can see, boys and girls, this book won an award. It was, I believe it's a Dr. Seuss. What does that say here? It won an, an honor award, award from Dr. Seuss. All right, so here we go. Mercy Watson Goes for a Ride by Kate D. Camillo. There's toast, our character's favorite thing to eat. Chapter one. Mr. Watson and Mrs. Watson have a pig named Mercy. Every Saturday, Mrs. Watson makes a special lunch. Time for our little Saturday something, says Mrs. Watson. You've outdone yourself, Mrs. Watson, Mr. Watson says. Oink, says Mercy. Oops, sorry, boys and girls, the pages are sticking here. Every Saturday after lunch, Mr. Watson goes outside. Mercy follows him. They stand in the driveway. Together, they admire Mr. Watson's convertible. Are you ready? asks Mr. Watson. Oink, says Mercy. Mr. Watson opens the passenger door. Mercy hops into the car. She sits behind the wheel. She snuffles contentedly. Chapter two. <laughs> says Mr. Watson every Saturday. You, my dear, are a porcine wonder. But even porcine wonders cannot drive cars. Mr. Watson gently pushes Mercy towards the passenger seat, but Mercy does not move. She does not want to sit in the passenger seat. Mercy Watson wants to drive. <laughs> says Mr. Watson again. He pushes less gently. Scoot over, my dear. Mercy does not move. Help me, Mr. Watson calls out. Saturday, Mrs. Watson steps outside. Darling, Mrs. Watson says, if you let Mr. Watson drive, I will make you an extra helping of hot butter toast. I will have it waiting for you when you get back home. Mercy narrows her eyes. She loves hot buttered toast. She also loves extra helping. Slowly, very slowly, she moves over to the passenger side. What a dear, says Mrs. Watson. She claps her hands. You are such a good sport, darling. Yes, says Mr. Watson. She most certainly is. He gets in the car and sits behind the wheel. He turns the key in the ignition. The Watson convertible rumbles to life. Chapter 3. Bon voyage, Mrs. Watson calls. Bon voyage, my dears. When you get home, we will all have hot buttered toast. Goodbye, Mrs. Watson, Mr. Watson shouts. He backs the car out of the driveway very quickly. He does not look behind him. Mr. Watson is a forward-looking man. He does not believe in looking back. Oink, says Mercy. Already, she is having a good time. And we're off, says Mr. Watson. We're off on an adventure. Chapter 4. Eugenia Lincoln and Baby Lincoln live next door to the Watsons. Every Saturday, the Lincoln sisters watch Mercy and Mr. Watson back out of the driveway. Every Saturday, Eugenia is displeased. Mr. Watson is a very bad driver, she says. He is a menace behind the wheel. Yes, sister, says Baby. Furthermore, says Eugenia, it is my firm opinion that pigs should not be taken for rides in automobiles, particularly that pig. That pig is a sly pig. 
I do not trust her. No, sister, says Baby. Baby looks down the road. The car disappears. Mr. Watson and Mercy are gone. Folly, says Eugenia Lincoln. She shakes her fist. It is folly, I say. Yes, sister, says Baby. But secretly, Baby Lincoln thinks that a little folly wouldn't be a bad thing. Boys and girls, folly is another word for like silliness, a little bit of fun. So let's see what continues on in the book. Chapter five. One Saturday, Mrs. Watson made a special lunch. After lunch, Mr. Watson and Mercy went outside. Everything happened just as it always did every Saturday on Deckawoo Drive. What folly, said Eugenia Lincoln as usual. What nonsense. She paused. Eugenia waited for Baby to say, yes, sister. But Baby said nothing. Baby said nothing because Baby was not there. Hmm, wonder where she went, boys and girls. Chapter six. Officer Tamelio sat in his police cruiser. A pink convertible sped past him. Was that a pig? Officer Tamelio asked himself. Yes, it was, he answered himself. That most certainly was a pig. Is it illegal to take a pig for a ride? Officer Tamelio asked himself. I don't believe it is, he answered himself. It is unusual, he continued. But unusual does not equal illegal. However, it is illegal to speed, and that vehicle was definitely speeding. Officer Tamelio turned on his flashing lights. He pulled out onto the highway. He followed the car with the pig in it. Chapter 7 In the car with the pig in it, the pig was having a good time. The wind was tickling her ears. The sun was warm on her snout. Even though she was not the one behind the wheel, Mercy was happy. Mr. Watson was happy too. There's nothing like a fast drive to clear the mind, he shouted. Isn't that right, my dear? Oink, said Mercy. It's wonderful to go fast, said a voice from the back seat. Who said that? said Mr. Watson. Me, said Baby Lincoln. Mr. Watson looked over his shoulder. Hello, Mr. Watson, said Baby. Oink, said Mercy. Hello, Mercy, said Baby. What are you doing, shouted Mr. Watson. I'm having a little adventure, said Baby. I am indulging in some folly. Folly, said Mr. Watson. Mercy narrowed her eyes. Mr. Watson was looking over his shoulder at Baby. He was not looking at the road. Mercy saw her chance. She gathered her strength. She leaped. Oof! Help, Mr. Watson said. Help me! Whee! said Baby Lincoln. What folly! What fun! What adventure! Please, said Mr. Watson. Get off me! He pushed at Mercy with both hands, but Mercy did not move. Mercy put her front hooves on the steering wheel. She was in the driver's seat, and she intended to stay there. Chapter 8. Back on Deckaroo Drive, Eugenia Lincoln was looking for Baby. She looked in Baby's bed. Baby was not there. She looked on the back step. Baby was not there either. Baby! shouted Eugenia. Reveal yourself at once! But Baby did not reveal herself. Where could she be? said Eugenia. And why do I think this has something to do with that pig? Eugenia marched next door. She rang the Watson's bell. Mrs. Watson, said Eugenia. Baby is missing. Goodness, said Mrs. Watson. And I believe that your pig is responsible, said Eugenia. Mercy, said Mrs. Watson. Yes, said Eugenia, exactly. But Mercy's not here, said Mrs. Watson. She's on her Saturday ride with Mr. Watson. Eugenia turned and looked down the road. Folly, she said. Heavens, said Mrs. Watson. You don't think. I do think, said Eugenia. 
That is my point exactly. I do think. And apparently, I am the only one around here who does. Okay, boys and girls, we're going to stop at chapter nine and for today. And let's see what happens tomorrow. And Mercy Watson goes for a ride.